Hey YouTube, welcome back and thanks for joining me and I uh, hope you're having an awesome day. I have spent the last day and a half fiddling with atmospheric, at atmospheric? atmospheric thrusters in uh, Space Engineer. Uh, basically what happened was I was having a lot of issues with, well I say a lot of issues, like three ships crashed and I was just like getting annoyed. So I decided to check out, well I first tried to research uh, to see if I could find anybody that's done a video on this. Uh, the closest I came was a guy that done a video uh, with a similar setup to this where he had a thruster, a battery, a gyroscope and then he just had blocks and he didn't say how many blocks exactly were on each thruster and he also didn't say how much a block weighs. So what I done was I weighed a block just for the fun of it because he also didn't say how many there were so that information was pointless. So it's 500 on the cube for the big big grid and uh, only a 20 on the little grid for a cube. So there's a lot of chaos over here. This is all from me testing. There's also a lot of stuff just, you know, kind of out there in the scar. So hopefully nothing comes back to bite us. But yeah, so basically what I've done was I did a little bit different. I put a container on and inside the container I did put some stone. So what I've done is I've kind of overweighted this a little bit. It is uh, 3224 is the maximum load. So if I take a copy of this, we'll take him over to here. You'll see he comes down and that's on that, that number. So if I now take out 100 stone, he should slowly, ever so slowly, there we go, he has stopped and he is just levitating. So that is how I uh, kind of tested it. There were like hundreds going all over the place, but yeah. So one small grid thruster, small thruster on the small grid should lift 3,224. And I said, okay, cool. We'll move on to the large thruster. Done the same experiment, came up with 484. I had a small container and a large container and got the same lift pretty much well exactly the same left on both obviously this one holds slightly more stone than the other right then i moved over to large grid and large small thrust on the large grid large thrust on the large grid and uh, this one came out to 60,300 which is working so if i just control panel we'll turn on the thruster we can make a copy pop them there just go turn this one back off because it's going to start kicking up dust everywhere in a bit so as you can see it is stable right send you off on your merry way and i've done the same with the large one uh, this one has a foot because just the sheer scale i decided the foot is easier and on this one i managed to get it to lift uh, 470 i could probably push that up to like 500 ish um but yeah, it got a little bit uh, late and I got a bit tired, but I did some more experimentation, which gives me the actual lift anyway, but this was like a quick look. So that was what I started with. And then I decided I'm going to build little ships. So basically I built a bare bones ship, which is the connector, container, drill, cockpit, battery, and a gyroscope. No ore detector, no fancy stuff. This is going to be basically like, you can drill stone with this thing and you might hit some resource if you're lucky. And that came up to 400, uh, 4,415. Same at the back there, exactly the same ship set up for the back for the large thruster. And according to the measurements, or the measurements, the, the calculations in the front, I should be able to get that up with two thrusters. So I added the additional thrusters. It came up to 10,007, uh, which is basically, I just added two down, two forward, and one in every other direction, just for maneuverability, and it does need two thrusters to fly. If you take one out, it falls. So I was like, cool, that worked out. Right information. So then I was like, okay, let's max load these two thrusters until it starts falling out the scar. And then I came up with this number, 17,109 on the grid mass which does not tally up with what happens in the front because 3,000, what was it, 3,200 and something, 3,224 times 2 is not 
17,000. So something was amiss. So then I was like, okay, we are going to just fully load this thing. So I put stone, full, fully loaded the stone in the connector, the container, the drill, and the cockpit. And that maxed out at 38,261 on the grid mass. And it took five thrusters. Not four, not six, five. Five whole thrusters to lift that. Right. So then I went a little step further and I maxed out, so I added some more containers and then I maxed out the five thrusters and I got to 42,213 on the grid mass, which was great. So that is how much those five thrusters could lift. Uh, so if you were, if you were building this sort of layout just to start off with, it's like minimal, uh, you would need five thrusters to lift it uh, on the, if it was fully loaded. So you just as well add the extra containers and you can get a bit more. Uh, you'd have to be a little bit careful because the top one obviously is not is not maxed out. Uh, the So that's this one here uh, was maxed out but it's moved down to the container on the, the actual platform which is quite annoying but then we've got maxed out, maxed out. Uh, the drill is completely empty. So we, we obviously have a bunch inside here. Uh, so I've done the same thing with the large thruster and we came up with 10,858 which is only slightly heavier than the 10,700 that side and right so the maximum load on that um, on this thing same thing I've done there I just filled everything up the maximum load came up to 32,267 which should be only a slight bit more 38,261 and why did that come up so much less but yeah okay anyway <laughs> it's probably just a, a thing but it was roughly the same as that and so then I went and I tried to max out that one thruster so I loaded it fully for one thruster and I got to 50,300 which means that Five thrusters are roughly the same as, well, a little bit worse, but roughly the same as one. Then obviously there's a power calculation you can work out. Um, you can see how much the, the, the actual thrusters use, um, which we can just pop in. I can actually just jump into this one and I'll be able to see both. So your control panel. Oh man, it's going to be a, there's just so much stuff here now. Um, do I have this set up for... Yes, I do. Which ones are those? Where are they? Not on this ship, I guess. T. No, not on this ship. Okay, let me just disembark. That'll be the easiest way to do it. The information. Oh, control panel. Uh, so we got a large atmosphere thruster. There we go. And this one requires 2.4 megawatts and your small ones require 600 so that would be 300 or 3 megawatts so it is slightly more advantage to use a, um, a large thruster on the small grid because it doesn't cost as much let's lock that in place and we go down Right, so I did find out obviously that all the work I done in front there, which did take a long time to get everything done, was kind of pointless because it didn't really work out. And I did demonstrate that they do float. We've got it he's still there. Uh, so I did do the calculations and the weighing up pretty good. Um, so then I just decided to move on to large grid. So I've done exactly the same thing. Very bare bones. Cockpit. This one just has a drill because the, dr the large scale drill comes with a big container already, a uh, connector, battery, gyroscope. And then oh, on the large, uh, for the large thruster I just added a container because I knew I'd be able to hold them all. So then I went over to the next step and then I added the thrusters which brought it up to 52,731. One thruster was needed to lift this which is in the parameters for the 600 and 60,300. So I was like, cool. Move on. We then max loaded that thruster at 60,135. I've got 60,300 there. So that is pretty spot on. So that's good information. 
good information. Take a pen and paper, write that down. One large scale small thruster, roughly 60,000 kgs or grid mass. I think it's kgs. Okay, so then what I've done was I fully loaded out the drill bit, the cockpit and the connector. And that came up to uh, 56, uh, 156,404 and it says four there but it's actually three uh, I did actually do a little error there uh, I didn't change this after I done the weighing so three thrusters which works out fine so is it three thrusters one two three yeah three thrusters and I think I've actually brought this down a bit in weight so let's see so noisy because I'm inside hold on I'm a fat boy uh, information 140 yeah so I want down a bit but yeah 148,000 but you can get uh, 180 into that three thrusters but this was just fully loaded so that is just everything loaded it was 156,000 and you can run that on three thrusters. So then I, I fully loaded it out at 180,000 on the grid mass and it flies. So that worked out fine to the 60. 6 times 3 is 18 plus a couple of zeros and you get the right number. So we move... Uh, something crashed. Moved over to the large one which I've done exactly the same just adding another container and then what I done was I fully loaded that container up. Uh, up. It was basically 90,000 on the grid mass and the, the, basically this entire thing can be lifted by one. So I didn't go through the process of uh, like over there where I had to add on and add it on there. I just left it at one and then I maxed out that one. So the maximum load is 588,940 on the grid mass. It's a lot. That is a lot. It's hot, like just over half a million uh, in weight. So this is him here. He is here. He is chilling. He is flying. So this is the same one. If this was the copy. So 588,940. If I pop into this, this driver seat, it is incredibly slow. Like lifting, I am actually lifting, but you would not tell that I am lifting that very well. But it flies so that was that and just look at the absolute carnage there's some stuff down there yeah so it was a fun fun experience and a annoying experience all at the same time and then also done a few things like this where i loaded up so this grid mass is sixty-eight thousand, right and I think I got that number off of here, 50,000, so 68,000. This should be able to lift with one. So I was trying to figure out why the numbers weren't adding up. Uh, and yeah, it doesn't, just does not turn them on. So if I had to turn off all but one, And we just ran that all the way up. There we go. She's not going anywhere. So then... He's off. He's on. So let's turn you on. And there he goes. So now it takes two to lift 68,000. Uh, which is not exactly the right amount, I don't think, but... Oh, 61. So like an 8,000 8, more. But if I jump in here... I'm pretty sure I could add an extra 7,000 onto that. Let's just, just test that theory. And why are you doing that to me? It's one, two, three, four. Oh, it's not adding anything. Uh, okay, let's move that into the drill. It's full. So what's got space? The drill. Let's just look at the drill. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the grid mass might not update. No, it has not. So we're just going to copy it. 
this is one of the problems I had and why there are so many of everything all over the place and uh, there we go yeah ever so slightly going down what is the grid mass information it's 53 apparently but yeah, I've done a lot of experiments and yeah, just could not spit this. Yeah, this one is still perfectly in in sync with with everything. But yeah, so I've done a bunch of experiments trying to figure it out and I just could not figure out why the small grid was so off. Uh, if anybody does know, please do drop a comment. Um, maybe you can explain to me why these ones don't end up, yet these ones do. But yeah, that's that's uh, the, the extent of my experimentation. I'll probably figure out the 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 hydrogen ones as well as the iron ones at some point. But this is just for atmospheric thrusters. So yeah, if you found any of this useful, please do drop a like and uh, comment if you want to, and uh, maybe consider subscribing if you want to be so away inclined. But thank you very much for joining. I'll catch you later and have an awesome time. Goodbye.